Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I've missed you all and I'm so glad to be back. I have been really busy uh, moving everything to our new home. We still have a lot to do with our um, build, but happy to be inside and um, preparing my uh, craft room. Uh, so there's still a lot of boxes for me to unpack in here and uh, rearrange all of my shelving and everything but really excited to come here and share with you um, a project that I've been uh, trying to work and think about while I was in the process of uh, moving and renovating and what I could make and thinking of some measurements. Uh, so this is a quick uh, project that I had thought of um, making and it's just something for Christmas as we are coming uh, very close to our Christmas period and I wanted to make um, like a packaging pocket for uh, my girls and my um, son-in-laws and my granddaughter a little a little gift inside a Christmas pocket so I combine it as a tag pocket and this is the <clears throat> uh, project that I made with the measurements that I had thought about whether it would work with the measurements and so this is the um, size that I came up with which I'm quite happy with um, it is a large size a tag shape and then I added another little tag in the front where I can then at the back um, write down who each of these uh, pocket tags will be for so I've made two I've still got to make another um, one two three more <clears throat> and then I'm just going to probably initial, um, stick on it and their initials on the tag. My throat is a bit um, coarse because I've been breathing in a bit of dust while I was here. So it was just a little bit uh, pretty messy, but I was wearing a mask at the same time, but still didn't help. Uh, the papers that I use for this project <clears throat> is uh, by Paige Evans. Uh, it's her 12 by 12 a single sided paper pad. Um, so this was the only paper I had laying around in one of my uh, boxes when I was trying to unpack it and I thought I'll just use this one and quite happy with the papers anyway because these are pretty much the style of my uh, kids um, colours and what's great with these tags and I'll show you the inside in a second the great thing with these tags you can make these as an advent uh, pocket tag flip and maybe make 12 of these for a 12 a 12 day advent calendar or a 24 advent uh, calendar and you just punch your hole uh, as you would here like for a tag and then you can just buy one of these uh, binder rings and slide them through each one of these and then you could have um, a stack of 12 of these or 25 and then um, you could create a advent calendar a tag flip advent calendar which I think that would be great. Uh, so all, what I've done here is it opens up this way with a Velcro and then it flips up like that and there is a pocket. And in that pocket, you can then add your little gift. You can add a tea bag sachet. So I made it so it would fit a tea bag sachet, uh, maybe um, a package jewelry. Um, you could place that in here, uh, some tags. Uh, anything you like that would fit inside this pocket and this is the other one that I made I just basically cut these uh, Christmas stockings that were in the paper pad and add that to the front with some foam uh, foam squares I made another tag and fussy cut another one of the uh, images there as well as this little ho ho tag <clears throat> oh, sorry, it was just a strip and then I cut it into a little banner. This also has some Velcro to hold the uh, tag in place. And then it opens up this way. And so what I'm going to be using these uh, pocket tags, I made a coin envelope, but I'm going to use this for um, a money note. I'm going to add a, a small note in each of the coin envelope for each of my kids. And um, Aria, my granddaughter. So that just get a little... Um, a small money note I'm just going to fold that and place that in there um, it's just something a little extra that they could use maybe to <clears throat> use to fill up their petrol or just buy some lunch or they can use it for whatever they like and this has another pocket I just uh, created a notch for this one this one doesn't have a notch <clears throat> 
And you can also make your pocket deeper. If you wanted a longer uh, pocket and make it deeper, you could do that. <clears throat> so that just goes in there. And it's just really, <clears throat> really simple and really cute. You can use this for any theme. I just wanted to make a Christmas one. So I'm going to show you how easily it is you can make these. I did add some trim as well to the top. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper. And you want to cut your paper at 3 inches by 12 inches. So you can make three of these. You can make three of these with one tall by tall paper. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to make another one with the same paper. Um, that I've already cut one out, which was this one, and I'm going to cut another one, and I'm just going to cut it at three inches. And you can see I've used a directional pattern paper, so I, I'm going to use this one so you could see how to uh, fold yours. If you're using a pattern paper that's got one way um, pattern, so you've got that, and then we just get our scoreboard. So because this is a directional paper, what's going to happen is I'm going to turn it uh, with the pattern facing down. You want, <clears throat> as you fold this bottom piece, you want to have that one facing the right way up, which is going to be the closure part. So when you have that, just turn your paper like upside down and that part will uh, fold up. Then we're going to turn it to the right. <clears throat> and we're going to score at one and a quarter inches, six inches, um, six and th uh, three quarters, and seven and a half. So that's <clears throat> all the scoring. And then you want another piece <clears throat> at the same width as your uh, paper at three inches. And then the height is whatever height you like, you know, the depth of your um, the pocket for the inside. So my one here is one and a half inches by three inches. So it's only a one and a half inch D. <clears throat> and all we do here is we're going to fold this bottom one up first. And then the middle score line, we're going to fold that over as well. And then these are two score lines. You're just going to gently fold your paper back and forth. It just helps it sort of give it that flip when you want to flip up the um, cover. We'll grab some glue and we're just going to <coughs> sandwich these two pieces together. So I'm just going to put some glue on one side of the panel. And I'm just going to fold that down and press that. So these two pieces will get glued together now. And that will go on the inside and this flap will go on the front and this is where you will add um, a velcro dot or a foam square you could um, even just leave it like that and maybe just create a little small belly band with a strip of paper if you don't um, have any velcro strip <clears throat> just to hold the closure in place and then just sort of <clears throat> you can sort of uh, use a st st uh, strip of paper and then just go like that and then that'll hold it in place and then just add a little bit of glue to close that up and then they can just slide that out. So you could do that, you could use some string, whatever you like to keep that closed. But I'll do the closure in a second. So before we've got all that, I'm just going to now um, angle cut these two corners so it looks like a tag. You don't have to do that. If you want to just leave it like this, you can do that. Um, but I just thought it might make a little bit more interesting and like a tag. So I'm going to turn that around the other way, place it on the other side. So I've got a template so that both the angles are 
as closely the same. So the angles look the same. So I've done that now. I'm just going to punch a hole in the middle and um, that will be where you can add your extra little tag to the front and then add some string if you wanted to do that. And there is the hole and then you can decorate that with however you like. You don't have to add a, a little hole if you don't want to. And now I'm just going to open this up. This is that little extra piece. I'm actually going to create a notch for this one just to make it more decorative. And I'm just going to add glue to three sides. You can even add um, another pocket if you wanted to and add a double pocket. So I can show you that if you wanted to add another extra pocket. And then I'll also just give you the measurements for the little coin envelope that I've got inside if you wanted to add a coin envelope. And then what you do is I'm just going to place it just above the fold line, not on it, just to help um, this part open and close. So that is your pocket all done. If you want to add another pocket, I'm just going to take this out first. If you wanted to add another pocket, let's see what I've got here. Let me just cut this out. Uh, <clears throat> you um, could add a double pocket. So the width was three inches. Let's just cut that, it's already three inches. So this was one and a half inch in height. If you want to add another pocket, let me just go at, let's do two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter. I might do two and a half. Let's do two and a half inches in height. So two and a half inches in two and a half inches by three inches. I might just punch out another thumb notch. And then what you can do is you put the, the longer piece first on the inside. So let's glue that down just to give you another variation for you. We'll glue that down and again, placing that above the score line. So now you have a, a deeper pocket. Then I've got this piece. I'm gonna just add a bit more glue because then we've dried up. And you just place that in the front and there you have yourself one pocket, two pocket. You can even add another pocket and make another uh, a higher, uh, a deeper one and add a triple pocket. And then you've got yourself a multi-pocket uh, tag flip. So you can do that. <coughs> and now to make the coin envelope, if you wanted to make one. Because um, I've got to make another one anyway for... I've got to make a, um, a few of these for these um, tag pockets. I cut my paper at five inches by five inches. One second, sorry, my throat gets dry. I just got to. So I've got my paper at five inches by five inches. I'm just going to fold it in as best I can in the middle, and you just want a slight overlap. Just a little bit enough so you can add some glue to close it off. And we'll press the two sides down. And I'm just going to get my scoreboard again. I'll open this up. Now the pattern is going to be upside down in one way, but that doesn't really matter. So on the uh, five inch side where we've done the score line, I'm just going to score at a quarter of an inch and four inches. 
you may have already know how to make these coin envelopes, but for those that are new and want to know how to make one, this is just how I make a small one. I'm just going to remove these two panels or these two little corner pieces and I'll angle cut that in that way. Do the same to the other side. I'm just going to angle cut that and do that. And then I'm also going to remove these two uh, corner ones. I'm going to go straight down. And then I'm just going to angle cut this little piece just a little bit. I'll go this way. And I'll do the same with this side. I'm going to cut down here. And also do the same and just give it a slight angle. I'm going to um, <clears throat> now fold these two pieces in. I'm just going to cut this out a little bit to make it easy. Fold, folding them back in. Now, if that's not deep enough, you can angle cut them a little bit more. I'm just going to do mine a little bit more. with that and then I'm just going to glue down the uh, one side here so I could close up that pocket and then I'll also glue down the bottom here and that will close up the bottom part So you can see now I have a coin envelope and I'm going to corner around these two corners just to tidy that up. And there we have a mini coin envelope and I made I made it this size so it could fit inside the um, pocket tag. So you can even place one on the inside the back there and it'll still fit. You can add a tea bag. To the front you can even add a, you might be able to add a couple more extra pieces of things in here that you may want and then closing that up like that now it will bulk out but i think that still makes it look fun because it looks like there's some fun goodies inside the tag i'm just going to get some velcro um, i don't know where did i i think i got these from ebay a long time ago aliexpress i think may also sell these or amazon i'm just going to place one side on the call uh, in the middle i'll take the backing off so i'll place one piece like that and then the other piece place that and stick that to the top of it like that and then bring that up and press it so that that will just be ready to line up together that's how I do mine anyway so there we go we've got that all closed up and then you can have fun decorating and embellishing adding whatever you like to the front and that's the fun part as well is just having fun decorating I added some sequins here to the front here uh, this is some chipboard numbers that I had and um, I just added some dimension using some more of the images from the paper pad. And um, that is all to the um, pocket tag flip. Hope you enjoyed this uh, project. Uh, just a quick little one for you. Glad to be back and thank you all if you have come back and join me. And I'll be back with more projects to share with you. Nice to see you. Bye now.